Off you go into the wild blue yonder. After 10 weeks of flying lessons, which is about the average instruction period, you are ready to take your first solo flight. Today, your instructor will be on the ground instead of sitting beside you. When you arrive at the airfield, you will see her standing outside the hangar and she greets you with a friendly wave. As the two of you chat, you try to sound as nonchalant as possible, even though your heart is pounding. She must see how nervous you are because she remarks that she has complete confidence in you. That makes you feel better, and you begin to relax a little as the two of you saunter over to the plane. After climbing inside and taking a deep breath, you methodically check you methodically complete the checklist of the plane's controls. Then you wait for a signal from the control tower to proceed. As soon as it comes, your feelings of anxiety leave you. You start the engine and release the brake. You open the throttle a little, feeding more gasoline to the engine and causing the propeller to whirl faster. The plane starts to move forward. You taxi onto the runway, facing into the wind, and wait. A voice from the control tower comes through your headphones, giving you permission to take off. You open the throttle wide, and the plane accelerates down the runway. Your right hand rests on the stick, a control that lifts the plane's nose when pulled back and drops the nose when pushed forward. The plane is now traveling so fast that you can feel it trying to leave the ground. You pull back gently on the stick. The ground suddenly drops away beneath you. You are flying. You have been told to go no faster than 85 miles an hour, although the plane has a maximum speed of twice that. You reach an altitude of 500 feet and ease back on the throttle, watching your airspeed carefully. If it drops below 55 miles an hour, the plane will stall. To increase speed, you push the stick forward, dropping the nose slightly. Already, it is time to make the first turn. You push the stick gently to the left, and the wind on that side drops, causing the plane to make a turn, or bank, as you've learned to call it. There are so many things to think about that you hardly notice the view. After ma making three more left banks, you are on your final approach.